and welcome to Milk and Music TV. This is you, your compere, Jules Davis. This, the only place where you can watch local artists online, on demand, at your demand. Tonight, we have the show! A couple of years ago, this is called Idiot Room. Two members of Imicus here. They are Dale and Miller. All right, ladies. So, listen, we're here at local, mu local music TV. I think we have a bit of a first, do we not? An acoustic set. Yep, never done one before. Um, so it could go one or two ways. <laughs> but oh, hopefully it'll be a go good one. one way, it's only yeah. going to go one so way. We just want to have a good time. Yeah, and so what, what was the, what was the thoughts uh, process behind actually uh, kicking this one off? Why? Why? Um, just a chance to do something you know that we've not done before. We do like to do sort of things that push us a little bit, and um, also sort of from the from the area. So if we were going to do it anywhere, then it'd be here around here. So. Well, that's nice. Uh, Luton's local music TV, everybody. So um, you've been a busy band. I know you have. So come on, you, this, this summer, what was your favourite gig? Download. <laughs> we, we played. Uh, <laughs> There's um, some people here tonight that were there in the front row. They're very um, can supportive. Can you any of you remember any of it whatsoever? Uh, awesome. <laughs> cool, um, cool. Yeah, it was um, it was our biggest gig so far, and um, 
it was uh, it was a brilliant one. Um, I, first gig I ever went to. Did you have a sea of people in front of you? Yes, <laughs> we did. Very, um, very, very nice, um, humbling moment. What was yeah. the most interesting bit? Was it the, the before you got onto the stage, the moment when you were on the stage, or the moment when you just finished? Totally just walking on, um, yeah. and then having, it must have been at least three, three or 4,000 yeah. people. So really? The tent capacity was supposed to be about 2,500 people, uh -huh. and, it was, and it was way, way yeah. outside, so. Yeah. And then just walking on, and you know, mass, yeah, real big noise, it was really, really good. But the shake going no. on? No, nothing. I do. I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I get very nervous. As soon, so. as soon as you walk on and everyone welcomes you that way, it's, it's, really? it just, it just yeah. flies away and you get on and enjoy yourself. I was well, lucky that I was last on, so everyone started, <laughs> yeah. started screaming when they walked on. So I was like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Are you just staring at the floor, like yeah, I'm not here. I'm not here. I used to spend, when I was getting, I used to spend half the time puking up outside and then I'd be able to come onto the stage. I used to do that before gigs, but that was a few years ago. So nerves, gone. What, now? Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, well, clearly you're obviously very nervous about here. I mean, here you are in your home, you're about to deliver a gig of... Uh, of, of, of I think we all enjoy it too much to get too nervous about it, but mm. we obviously want to do the best we can, so... Maybe sure. Maybe, yeah. Sure. Okay, well listen, tell me about the creative process, about where you guys get your music from, how it comes to be, and... Uh... <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Is there a Nazi in the band? This is what I'm a trying Nazi? to get you. <laughs> is there a Nazi? I think there's a few of us. <laughs> a stick that says, I wouldn't say Nazi, I mean dictators maybe, yes, but not quite. necessarily Nazis. No, um, <laughs> we, we, we are very collaborative. Um, we do take ideas from every, every member of the band. Every member of the band is involved in the writing process. Um, Generally, perhaps myself or Dan might come up with um, you know, a riff or something, and then we'll take that to the other guys, either by email or into a rehearsal studio. We'll muck around with it a bit. And, uh, I mean, for example, Visceral, our single, um, we had that knocking around for probably you know, 8 to 10, 12 months, maybe, mm. All before lyrics we were done. It. All the choruses and the verses were done, and we were just trying to plug the bridge gap, and we messed around with various ideas. Did you have a eureka moment with it? Yeah, basically, yeah, we, we it, was a, it was a jam. And, and that song was entirely it. written in, in a bedroom, effectively, and, mm. and what happened was we decided to have a little jam with it in a rehearsal studio, like, probably like a year later, like I say, and um, it just, literally, the bridge just happened. It just, we just wrote it there and then on the spot, I and mean, yeah, that worked really well. Take me to the bridge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, those moments when actually you finally discover the... Uh, the essence of the song. I mean, that when, when, when again, mm. when the jigsaw actually falls into place, and you just know it's instant when you realise it, isn't it? You don't even have to rehearse it again. To, that's it. That's nailed. It's in the can. Yeah. Well, mm. the thing is that we we are really perfectionists to the point where we we'll, yeah we'll be happy with that, and then we'll take it into the studio and demo it, and then mm -hmm. go let's change that bit a bit, and then add this bit to it, and um, we we have to stop sort of stop ourselves from just writing the song endlessly because it could just go on forever. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. One, one of our demo <laughs> releases, um, I ended up doing the vocals to it hours before we sort of put it up for everyone to listen to. Um, and it was actually one of the best, best songs. It's, you know, you hear about bands like Black Sabbath wrote Paranoid as a B-side and then, you know, in a very short amount of time, sometimes the best songs come together like that. Sometimes indeed, they're just, indeed. you know, a bit of a more work. So, so from the heights of download, where you were there in front of all these people and they were just grooving to your to your no your sound, um, to the a pub that you're just playing at with twenty people in, you know, you got to do the circuit, you got to keep you going, and, and you got to keep at it. The highs and lows of musicianship, I mean, you know, and 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 the, and the, and the commitment to the band is this is, is is does that test you sometimes? Or do you find it? If you if you've tra you know if you've travelled a long way or yeah if you if you say a promoter's not you know necessarily done their jobs or you know uh, things like that then it can be frustrating but at the end of the, the day the passion for the music and the commitment to exactly, the idea you take it rough with a the smooth then you, you know you, you get on with it you, if, you, if, if you're expecting to walk into very very full arena or you know venues every night of your life then you're in the wrong thing so yeah, yeah 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 we've played gigs to two people before hmm. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah two it's probably down there yeah <laughs> yeah um I've, it's, it's a small group of people. It's like this one actually are the most challenging because you are right in the faces of everyone. Yes. Um, yes. You know, uh, and particularly as an in the acoustic environment, you are really subject to any errors. No yeah. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> any time. Okay. Listen, I am, can't wait to hear you. I really can't wait to hear you. We've had an extraordinary list of people tonight, some great bands, but tonight I really want to listen to these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Emicus. Uh. 
Just how far you flew Shows just how much it all Affected you All that you know Defines you and I My falling shadow Reflecting in your eyes All that you know Finds you and I, my falling shadow reflecting in your eyes, reflecting in your
I'm lost Trapped inside this moment like a curse Tomorrow drags its heels and then it comes Slowly around the corner like the nine o'clock train It's running late again It's running late again i 